Well, I've been rushed back into the com box here as Al Martin's been taken uh, a little bit weird for the Hennessy Gold Cup. So, uh, the three mile, two fern, group three handicap, Knickerbocker Glory for Joshua Sutherland, Slow Burner for Leon Van Rensburg, Coney Glen for John Morgan, Watching Carefully for Pontypool Racing, Come Shame for David Robertson, Ascendant Forgotten for Pontypool Racing, Yacero for Darren Thompson, No More Prisoners for Paul Rose, Drow More Hill for Ryan Costello, Red Rose Cafe for Paul Rose, Heart Paces and Serafina Cerise. For Craig Allen, our Hems, Seaview Premium for Paul O'Neill, Poppy LC and White Run for Martin Leadham. 15, the challenge for one of the big handicaps of the season here at Newbury. The Hennessy Gold Cup. Break your Hennessy, please. I don't know why I've given out an Irish accent. They're away here. And they've got three miles, two furlongs to run before they get to the winning enclosure. And they've got 20 fences. They start with a small ditch. Everybody's over it. This uh, race has been won by uh, there's a fair few out of the handicap here. But three out of the last four seasons in SO6, it's been won by horses off nine stone twelve. So if you're out of the handicap, you've probably got more chance than some. Last year's winner was uh, the oddity of that. It was uh, Josh Sutherland's horse. Who I think one off ten stone twelve, so unusual. The, the trend leads to a nine stone twelver to win it. We'll see how we get on. The ones that lead in are Ascendant Forgotten and Poppy Elsie. They come down to the fourth, which is a plain one. The leaders are over it, as well as a chasing pack. So Ascendant Forgotten for Pontypool Racing and Poppy Elsie for Martin Leadham. Lead by about five from Serafina Cerise and Heart Paces from Hems. And followed through by Nickelbock Glory out wide, watching carefully. We've got Yacera wider still. First of all, Rogers is also no more prisoners. Slow burner from the maestro that is Leon Van Rensburg this year. And that the great come Shepherd. John Morgan's no more prisoners. And Seaview Premium. White run out wide. The great. Drain more hill up against the fence and Red Rose Cafe. Just bringing up the rear. Oh, and poor old uh, Ascendant forgotten. Forgot to jump. And he's out of the race. And he goes at the fifth. Left Poppy Elsie out on her own. A very swing left handed from Heart Paces, Nickerbocker Glory, and Serafina Cerise. And you're watching carefully. Slow burner comes shamed and Coney Glen. And Paul's no more prisoners. Yes, Sarah wide up. See if you bring in between horses. Get to the six. Very jumps that well. All bar Red Rose Cafe. And still leading the Hennessy. It's Poppy Elsie. Small ditch the seventh, and we lost one there. Heart Paces has gone. So that's one of Craig Allen's unlucky mate. We've still got Serafina Cerise in here. We're just down two. And still Poppy Elsie that leads us into the next. Should be the eighth, it's a plain one. Steadies and takes it well. Four jump at the rear by Red Rose Cafe. And Yacero's getting a little bit towered off here. But it's still Poppy Elsie that leads by about four from Knickerbocker Glory out wide. Get to the ninth. No one's over it, or bar John Morgan's Coney Glenman through the top of it. He shuffles back down the pack a little bit. But it's Poppy Elsie, leads down to a couple now as they come alongside the grandstand. The next time round, cheering people on. Get the Hennessy Gold Cup, it's the water, and everybody's over it. And it is Poppy Elsie from Nickerbock of Glory and No More Prisoners. The legs back to slow burner, come shamed. Back up against the fence, watching carefully. We've got Coney Glen, out wide, white run, the grey horse. Just in nose in front of that is Serafina Cerise. And just a three at the rear, Dromore Hill, Seaview Premium, and Red Rose Cafe. And Yacero, we've lost, been pulled up. Come alongside the land stand. Land stand, or even the grand stand. I thought, I've had enough of this, and he's out. So I'm lucky there for Mr. Thompson. So take the 11th. Mm. Get over it. A few stepped over it. Not much jumping going on. They're quite closely uh, packed. Not a little room to get a big fast jump in. But it's still Poppy Elsie. Takes them over the 12th. It's a small ditch. Everybody gets over it. And it is Poppy Elsie by about 3 to 4 to no more prisoners. Knickerbocker Glory and Slow Burner. And the first of the Greys come shamed. Watching carefully outside of those Coney Glen. Oh, some mistakes there. The one that made the worst mistake was no more prisoners. He shuffled himself right back towards the rear of the pack. It's still Poppy Elsie that leads from a held back slow burn up. Over the 14th. It's 
still Bobby Elsie. By about four, come Shame Slow Burner and Knickerbocker Glory. Coney Glen out wide white rum, alongside Serafina Cerise. Towards us here, closer is no more prisoners still riding. We'll get over the 15th, poor jump of the real by Dromore Hill. You've got watching carefully, Seaview Premium and Red Rose Cafe, middle of the course. We've hurried along a little bit now by his jockey. So we're inside the final mile, and it is Poppy Elsie. Still, though, uh, stable mate White Rum pulling up uh, to lead the chasing pack and cutting into Poppy Elsie's lead. So it's Poppy Elsie from White Rum out wide, the grey. Then we've got Serafina Cerise in the green silks. Nearest to us is Knickerbocker Glory. John Morgan's Coney Glen, light blue silks, yellow cap. Followed through by Slow Burner and Izzy as they get to the 16th. They're all over it. And White Rum jumped it a little bit better as Poppy Elsie has to get hurried along a little bit. So it's White Rum. Also the stable mate of Populisti for Martin Leadham as they come inside the five furlongs. And it's still White Rum now. It takes it up. Running out wide, wide is Seaview Premium to throw down a challenge. Serafina Cerise as well. Poppy Elsie looks like she's starting to backpedal now. And it's White Rum. Leads them into the 17th. Jumps it well. Gets over it fast. Gets away best. We lose one there. Coney Glenford. Your has gone unlucky. But it's White Rum that leads us here. This is one of the bottom weights. And it is White Rum running in Hunter Chases last week. Gets over the next. So it's White Rum still. Leads by a couple of lengths from Seaview Premium. Serafina Cerise running out of the pack now. He's come Shepherd. We're inside the final three furlongs and it's White Rum by about three from Seaview Premium and Come Shamed. They get to the 19th of Penultimate, took, took it well. The others will just stepped over it a little bit and it's White Rum still, inside two. White Rum from a couple of lengths to Seaview Premium, Come Shepherd, here comes Slow Burner. Serafina Cerise and no more prisoners. A little bit of a stickier jump there by White Rum as we come down to a third on from home and it's White Rum from Slow Burner. Seaview Premium, White Rum, can the post come in time? We're inside the final half, here comes Slow burner. White rum, is he going to hang on? I think he might. White rum. Martin Leland going to hang on to the Hennessy Gold Cup. He loves this race. He wins it with a three legged donkey. But, uh, great in seventh before us, I mean. Amazing. You want to ask him the story about this horse? He did tell me it was one that was going to get thrown out next week. And the only thing it ever did in his, uh, in his actual game was won the Hennessy Gold Cup two years running, couldn't w win anything else, he just threw it in there and he's picked it up with white rum, 100 to 1, slow burner for Josh, uh, for Josh, sorry for Leon Van Rensburg was second, CV Premium for Paul O'Neill was third, Sarah Venus Cerise for Hems was fourth and fifth was no more prisoners for Paul Rhodes and luckily enough uh, Martin's finished uh, his bathroom duties and he'll slot back into the commentary box for the next race.